Yo, what's up guys? Today we have another worst to best ranking video. You guys really seem to like these types of videos, so of course I'm down to do another one. This time, as requested, we are ranking every LMG or light machine gun in Battlefield 1 from worst to best. Wanna know which one I rank the highest? Be sure to watch till the end of the video. Okay, okay, let's not drag this out any longer than it should be. We have 11 total LMGs to go through in Battlefield 1. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Again, a quick trigger warning as this is 100% my opinion. This is my list. If you don't agree, just let me know down below. Unfortunately, light machine guns in Battlefield 1 suffer the most from the random bullet deviation mechanic that is so heavily present in Battlefield 1. And the first gun on the list has one of the highest random bullet deviation spread out of all line machine guns in the game. It's the M1909 Mercy Benet. Now the random bullet deviation is not the only reason why I rank this gun the worst of the bunch. Unfortunately the Mercy Benet has almost nothing to compete with some of the other LMGs. For example, it only has 30 rounds to fire before reloading. Most line machine guns have a box magazine of 100 rounds or more. And if that's not the case, usually they are extremely good in some other area like the accuracy or the rate of fire. For the Mercy Benet, that's not the case sadly. It has a super slow rate of fire of only 450 rounds per minute. And I don't know what they did to the accuracy of this gun, but it's so bad. I'm talking about the Storm variant by the way. And it's such a shame because it's such a cool gun to look at. It sounds amazing and I remember back in the beta, so that's a really long time ago, I used to own people with this gun. Not anymore, sadly. Next up on the list is the Hewitt Automatic. This one is almost the worst LMG in Battlefield 1, according to me, of course. Don't get me wrong, I can easily get top of the scoreboard with this gun if I play very passively, but because it has, yet again, a very slow rate of fire of 475 rounds per minute, which is a teeny tiny bit faster than the Mercy Benet, it's not that competitive. It also has only 26 rounds in the magazine, in a very, very slow reload time. I mean, you'd expect a fast reload time with only 26 rounds in the mag, but that's not the case. It does, however, have very good accuracy, so in that regard, it's pretty decent, but other than that, it's not that good in my opinion. Up next is yet again a very, very slow rate of fire LMG. It's the Shoshat Low Weight, I believe that's how you pronounce it. In fact, I believe this is one of the slowest rate of fire automatic weapons in the entire game. But luckily, it makes it up a little bit with a very high damage module. I believe in close quarters, it only takes 3 shots to kill an enemy and 4 shots from further ranges. So that's pretty damn good. But then again, like I said, I just don't like the incredible slow rate of fire. Not to mention it only has a 20 round mag. It's pretty good for some people, but I don't really like it personally. And the next line machine gun is something you won't expect. It's the Madsen MG and all in all, it's a pretty damn good weapon. It has a rate of fire of 540 rounds per minute, which is pretty decent in this game and a pretty fast reload time because of the 30 round box magazine. It also has decent accuracy, especially if you pick the bipodded variant but the box magazine is also the reason why I don't rank it that high. You see, this would be one of the best LMGs in the game if it wasn't for the huge magazine that sticks out of the top of the gun. This completely blocks your vision and it got me killed numerous times. It really pisses me off and that's why I rank it like this. The next LMG on the list is what most would call a real proper light machine gun. It's the Browning M1917 MG, the first one on the list that has more than 30 rounds. In fact, it has a whopping 250 rounds box magazine, the highest out of all light machine guns in Battlefield 1, I think. That is also one of the reasons why I rank it high like this. Another reason is the extreme accuracy. Sure, it only has 450 rounds per minute rate of fire, but if you bipod this thing, you can melt people from long range all day. You see, another cool thing about the Browning machine gun is that it almost doesn't overheat. So you can pretty much fire as long as you want without having to stop. Now, I could criticize this LMG for its long reload, but it's an LMG with a freaking 250 rounds box magazine, so I think it gets a pass. The next LMG that I rank a bit higher than the Browning M1917 is the Perino Model 1908. This gun is in a lot of ways very similar to the Browning MG but has a couple of stats that differs a bit which makes me rank it higher. So first of all the similarities. They both have a rate of fire of 450 rounds per minute, they both can fire for a very long time before overheating and they are both very accurate. But the Perino is even more accurate than the Browning MG, it also has a very unique way of reloading. 
40. It loads in strips of 20 bullets at a time, which gives you a quick opportunity to load in enough rounds to engage an enemy if you are out of bullets. It does have this visor sticking out on the left side of the gun which blocks your vision a little bit, but I still prefer the Perino over the Browning, at least in Battlefield 1. Next up we have the classic Lewis gun. First I wanted to rank the Lewis gun on number 1, but then I realized it's not as competitive as I initially thought. Still though it's a great line machine gun, my favorite variant is the low weight variant with 48 rounds because it has improved aim down sight accuracy but still comes with a bipod if you want to hit those longer range targets. It can also fire all 48 rounds in a magazine without overheating so that's pretty good. With a 480 rounds per minute rate of fire it's not the best but it makes up for it with pretty fast reload. All in all I really like this gun. The next LMG is the MG15NA and to be honest looking at it right now I have no idea where I should have ranked this gun if it wasn't for this spot. Don't get me wrong it has a great rate of fire of 500 rounds per minute, decent accuracy though not the best so long range engagement is not really an option unless you have the bipod variant. It does have a fast reload for a gun that has a 100 round magazine, it also has very clear iron sight so it's very easy to track targets with. But then again the accuracy is pretty bad, I can still wreck people with it obviously but I'm not sure where else I should rank this gun. You guys let me know down in the comments where you would rank the MG15 and A. Okay so now we are cracking the top 3 best LMGs in Battlefield 1 in my opinion. On number 3 we have the latest addition to the support class, no not the Burton LMR because on consoles we no longer have the Battlefield 1 CTE. It's the LMG 0818. This gun might be the best all round LMG in the game. Maybe. First of all it has one of the best rate of fires out of all LMGs in Battlefield 1 with 600 rounds per minute. It doesn't have the best accuracy but luckily it comes with a bipod so you can laser everybody at longer ranges. It also has one of the coolest reloads plus it's pretty fast too and overall it's just an awesome LMG. It pretty much does everything right in my opinion so that's why I rank it as the third best LMG in the game. The next LMG, the second best LMG in Battlefield 1 is the BAR M1918. I mean what can I say about this gun that nobody already knows. A very good rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute, a very fast tactical and empty reload and unlike the LMG 0818 very very accurate. The only shortcoming of this gun is its magazine capacity which only holds 20 rounds. Nevertheless despite that its other attributes makes up for it and I rank it the second best LMG in Battlefield 1. Up close you can melt people and it's so accurate that even at longer ranges you can kill enemies easily. Though it's not the best of course, it's not on number 1. That spot goes to the Parabellum MG1417. I think most of you guys already saw it coming. You know I love a high rate of fire weapon and with 700 rounds per minute this LMG definitely does the job. In close quarters it's pretty much unrivaled, the rate of fire makes it has one of the fastest time to kill out of all the LMGs. The recoil and accuracy are not the best but surprisingly if you can tap fire you can manage longer range engagements. Not to mention the bipod which makes this weapon a 700 rounds per minute rate of fire laser beam. It's insane and that's why I rank it on number 1. Now if you haven't paid attention, don't worry, you don't have to watch the whole video again. I list the top 11 LMGs from this video from worst to best in a very quick summary. I mean, how else I'm gonna reach the 10 minute mark, right? So from worst to best, on number 11 we have the Merci Benet. On number 10 we have the Hewitt Automatic. On number 9 we have the Shoshet LMG. Number 8 is the Madsen MG. Number 7 we have the first proper LMG on the list, the Browning M1917 MG. Number 6 is the Perino Model 1908. Number 5 we have the Lewis gun, one of my favorites from this list. Number 4 we have the MG15NA. Number 3 we have the newest addition to the support class, the LMG0818. The big brother of the SMG0818, pretty awesome, though not as awesome as number 2, which is the BAR. But the number 1 spot goes to the Parabellum LMG, the fastest rate of fire out of all the weapons for the support class. It shreds people up close and with the bipod from far range, that's why it's number 1. And that's about it for the video guys, if you came this far I want to thank you guys for watching and I'm going to let you in on a little secret. This week, probably in 2 or 3 days, I will finally upload the long awaited Battlefield Bad Company 1 video. Trust me, it's going to be awesome, I spent a lot of time making this video so be sure to have those notifications enabled and be the first one to watch it when I upload it. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and let me know down in the comments below if you agree with the list or if you would change it up a little bit. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We are about to hit 30,000 subscribers in less than two years of making this YouTube channel. I can't believe it so far. Thank you so much for the support. I have a lot of new and cool things coming to this channel. If you are not subscribed, now is the right time to do so. Hit the notification bell and I see you guys next time.